Imagine holding the entire Earth reduced to the size of a basketball, a whole world resting in your hands. Now lift your eyes. The sun towers above you, massive, blazing, larger than two Hollywood signs stacked together. And yet, this colossal, burning titan is considered nothing more than an average star. Because across the cosmic darkness lie stellar monsters, so massive, so powerful, our sun becomes a tiny grain of cosmic dust. This is the universe's ultimate record book, filled with giants, anomalies, and impossibilities that rewrite everything we think we know. Our Doradus rises in the southern sky, our largest visible stellar giant. In 2024, scientists captured its boiling surface for the first time. These bubbles are so huge, each could rival the size of our sun. But our Doradus is only the beginning of the universe's true giants. For years, astronomers believed UY Scuti was the biggest star ever found. Its radius was thought to be 1,700 times that of our sun. But a 2023 measurement proved that number was wrong. That mistake changed everything in our cosmic record book. The new official champion became WHG 64. WHG 64 is so huge it could swallow Jupiter and five planets with it. WHG 64 lives 160,000 light years away in the large Magellanic Cloud. A massive dusty ring surrounds this cosmic monster. This ring spans a full light year across, an unimaginable scale. But even WHG 64 might not be the true biggest star. Stevenson 2-DFK1 appears to break the laws of physics. Star expanding beyond the safe hydrostatic equilibrium limit. Stevenson's temperature is cooler than physics predicts. This mystery forces scientists to question long-held theories. Yet the universe records stars in more than just size. In brightness, one star stands far above the rest. Meet R136A1 one of the heaviest stars ever found. It holds nearly 200 times the sun's mass. Luminosity is almost 5 million times greater than the sun's. If our sun were this bright, Earth would vaporize instantly. Yet R136A1 ranks only seventh in brightness. The brightest known star is nicknamed Godzilla. Godzilla shines 255 million times brighter than our sun. But in temperature, another star breaks all limits. WR102 reaches an insane 200,000 Kelvin. At this heat, it ionizes everything around it. WR102 blasts its outer layers with deadly stellar winds. These winds move hundreds of millions of times faster than ours. These forces carve a massive glowing bubble around the star. But this star is nearing the end of its life. Soon, it may explode as a supernova. Meanwhile, other stars compete in size, heat, and mass. But the smallest star ever found defies all expectations. EBLM J0555-57AB is smaller than Jupiter yet still a star. It barely has enough mass to ignite nuclear fusion. Jupiter failed because it's only one ten thousandth the sun's mass. When a massive star collapses, something extraordinary forms. A neutron star, small, dense, spinning faster than anything in the universe. A teaspoon of it weighs a billion tons, and its magnetic field can tear atoms apart. This is the strangest object a dying star can become. Some neutron stars become magnetars, the most magnetic objects in the universe. Their fields twist space, shatter their surface, and release deadly bursts of energy. Energy. A single flare can outshine a galaxy. This is the universe's most powerful star remnant. A supernova begins in silence, then erupts with more energy than a billion suns. In seconds, it forges gold, uranium, 
and every heavy element in our bodies. We owe our existence to dying stars. When a star collapses completely, a black hole is born. Its gravity traps light, bends space, and devours matter. Around it, time slows. Beyond it, nothing returns. Gamma ray bursts are the deadliest flashes in the universe. In seconds, they release more energy than the sun will produce in 10 billion years. If one hit Earth, life would vanish instantly. Every star begins as dust, ignites into light, lives for millions or billions of years, then fades, explodes, or collapses. Stars are the heartbeat of the universe. Stars are mostly hydrogen and helium, but the tiny mix of other elements shapes their color, temperature, and destiny. Their light is a fingerprint, revealing everything inside them. Stars are born inside glowing cosmic clouds. Gravity squeezes gas, heat rises, and suddenly a newborn star ignites, lighting up the nebula around it. Stars like our sun end peacefully, shedding their outer layers into beautiful nebulae. What remains is a small, hot core, a glowing memory of the star that once was. A white dwarf is the burnt out heart of a dead star, small, dense, and glowing quietly for billions of years. It is the final breath of most stars in the universe. A stellar heartbeat shakes the void, massive pulses of energy expanding from a dying supergiant. Each pulse threatens to tear the star apart, but it survives for now. The star fights against gravity. Fusion fades, its core collapses, and the universe holds its breath. Moments before collapse, the star releases its brightest light, a final scream into the cosmos. Gravity crushes the core into a point so dense, even light cannot escape. A black hole is born. It devours everything, light, gas, entire stars. Yet from afar, it appears perfectly calm. Anything that gets too close is stretched into a thin stream of atoms. Spaghettification. Some black holes unleash jets of energy brighter than galaxies, a cosmic lighthouse of destruction. Near the black hole, time itself warps. Minutes outside become years inside. Cross the event horizon and nothing returns. Not matter, not information, not even hope. What lies inside is a mystery, another universe, a singularity, or the end of all things. 